Hi, good day. I'm your reporter for today. I'm James Arpotente and I'm going to report about formulating operational policies, procedures, and methods. So right now, I'm just going to report all about operational policies in relation to its methodology and my partner will report about procedures. Okay? Let's understand the policy cycle. First, let us define what is a policy. So, a policy is a guiding principle to set direction and define a particular course of action in an organization. It's according to ISDB 2018. Let's have this, what is a public policy? Public policy is the broad framework of ideas and values within which decisions are taken and action or inaction is pursued by governments in relation to some issues or problem. Okay? So, key characteristics of public policy. So, public policies are goals-oriented and aim at achieving what is in the public interest. Public policy is the outcome of the government's collective actions. Public policy is what the government actually decides or chooses to do. Public policy is positive in a sense that it is problem-solving. Public policy is directed to the future elements of uncertainty and doubtful prediction. Public policy involves various bodies, agencies. Policies exist at different levels. Meron tayong individual, individual policies, families have policies, organizations have policies, governments have policies. Participants, to give an example for each level. So, let's have this more engaging. So, ano yung mga policies na alam mo na involve individuals, families, organizations, and even governments. So as for have this training, we'll focus only on public policies, government, to guide decisions and actions that relate to society as a whole. Now, how do policies came about? Now, let's have here the actors in public policy making. First, we have here the judiciary, legislature, and executive branches, political leadership, and civil staff. Development banks, CSOs, academic research institutions, political parties. So, regarding Hilda, development banks, related dyan yung mga um, finance, no, CSOs, um, academ, institutions, research institutions, uh, maybe dyan yung magagaling yung mga nag, nag-test, nag-measure in terms of evaluation. And of course, we have informal institutions, informal structures, and rules, citizens, private sector. Now, we have here the um, problem at the fallacy cycle, first we have the problem definition. We move on to a agenda setting. Of course, the role of the government being a good governance and integrity, policy development, decision making, and of course, participatory engagement and policy communication, and of course, the policy implementation, policy monitoring and evaluation. So, isa isa na isa isa po natin yung itatakil ngayon. Okay? First, let's have this problem definition. So, kailangan natin yung problem definition kasi uh, it's hard to make a solution without even first knowing ano yung sinusolusyon na natin na problema, okay? There is a public problem that needs attention of the public and policy decision makers. There are many policy issues that any government has to deal with. Meron tayong unemployment, example, qualified teachers, bad roads, waste management, and ethnic extension. In the problem definition stage, the existing social, political, and ideological structures play a role. Now, let's uh, uh, by asking this question, how will a same problem be defined by an opposition party? Problem definition is a social contract. Okay? Now, we have this um, term framing. Kasi nga, public, uh, public problems are complex. Ang laki-laki po ng problema. So, it depends how we frame the problem and can be defined in many ways depending on the goals of the proponents, the nature of the problem, and political debate. Even when an issue gains attention, groups must fight to ensure their problem definition remains in the forefront. Under preferred approaches to the problem are those most actively considered. Example of framing. Meron tayo dito example of framing a problem. Kailangan natin to. First is that we have flooding downstream in Bangladesh is due to erratic changes in weather patterns resulting from the climate crisis we are facing and versus Paris State um, denudization is a primarily cause 
uh, flooding and siltation downstream in Bangladesh. So, kung makikita po natin yung first, hindi siya specific. Okay, hindi rin siya measurable kasi how can we solve the weather? No, ang laki-laking problema yan. In the second example, Paris Renunciation, dinitermine niya kaagad ano yung cost directly. And it's so specific. So, that's how we frame the problem. Dapat specific. So, sundin na natin yung smart, specific, measurable, attainable, um, and then, time-bound, okay? And realistic. I almost forgot, okay? Especially in framing the problem. Before you, you start to think about solutions to the problem, it is important to think about a clear definition of the problem itself first. The way in which a problem is framed will have an important effect on the identification of ways to tackle it. Example, we have here the youth unemployment as a problem. Societies that believe more in self-reliance, youth unemployment are seen as a problem of lack of initiatives, skills, and self-organization from the youth. The solutions would be looking on how this can be fostered and how they can have access to the instruments, tools needed. Societies, parties that believe more in social question and helping one another, this is how they frame the problem. Youth unemployment as a result of lack of social protection and support from the system during job-seeking period after graduation. The solution would be reviewed as social policy to look so pinilter niya dito and then nalaman natin yung specifics and then we can have now a proposed solution, okay? The role of media, so importante po yung may role po dito malaki yung media. News media have a very important role to play in framing. The press and the media do not reflect reality, they filter and shape it. Media concentration on few issues and subject leads to public to perceive those issues as more important than of others. Sometimes mayroon po media manipulation, distortion. Okay, nang nangyayari. So, importante po talaga yung role ng media natin in having a policy. Okay, kaya sometimes na yung public debate sa bill or to have it a law, pinapublicize talaga para malaman natin. Okay? For defining the problem, we will do an exercise during our course. So, let's have this more engaging naman para hindi siya boring. So, isipin mo, alam, maybe nasa trabaho ka ngayon. May trabaho ka ngayon, no? So, marami tayong mga policies dyan. Okay, so, Ano yung problema sa policies mo na nakikita mo? Is it about na late yung employee, in subordination, um, benefits, ganun, or kind of like that. So think of it, ano yung problem? First, the first phase is of the policy cycle, focus on the problem identification. Dapat alam mo yung problem in different sectors using um, problem tree. Okay, so yung problem tree, yun yung mga tools na ginagamit. So, meron tayo dyan, malalaman natin yung problem tree. Yung problem tree, yung roots being a cause, hanggang sa abot siya sa branches, being the effect of the problem. You can apply stakeholder mapping to the problem, identify to determine their power and interest. And if you're going to have exercise, then in the groups, each subject, first phase, yan yung first phase, size of the group will depend on the participants. Okay, engaging to dapat, okay? So, agenda setting, the process by which problems and solutions gain or lose public and elite attention, okay? Crime and employment, social injustice, flooding, no society or political institution, has the capacity to address all problems that arise any one given point in time. Many competing problems and interests asking for attention. This is the stage when any given government sets its priorities. Okay? Let's have, there are many ways that a public uh, that a policy initiative can come into being. This includes non-party sources, for example, debates in ministerial departments or parliaments. Um, party sources, the, um, these are the deliberately introduced by uh, governing parties and are often ideological. In reaction to a national or international event, discussion point, what would trigger the development of a new or update on policy in your organization? Okay? So, yan yung discussion point nyo. Good governance. Ito na yung role ng government. Good governance refers to the governing systems which are capable, responsive, inclusive, and transparent. Because the government is the one who will interpret or even no, um, implement the policies, karamihan. All countries develop and developing need to work continuously toward better governance, UNDP. Now, if you're going to ask question, what are the, go um, what are the governance principles in your organization? Let's have the role of the government. A government is a system of a group of people governing an organized community, often as a state. Each government has a kind of constitution, a statement of its governing principles, and philosophy. Government is a means by which policies 
are developed and enforced as well as mechanisms for implementing them. Government also formulates plans and strategies. Po, ito na po yung tenure, economic development plans, sector development strategy, strategies and operational plans. So, ito po yung mga plans ng government na to Example like this, back up po yan ang mga policies or even um, that is uh, their goal or their stepping, stepping stone to have a better policy or, by, uh, or making a policy. Okay? Um, your organization's rule in policy setting, discussion, reflection. So, Let's have this more engaging pa rin. Meron, meron ka organization ngayon, di ba? Or nagtatrabaho ka ngayon. Even, your, even business lang yan, no? Even though business yan or even in a government or in a private, that's already um, an organization. Gano'n may kaliit na grupo. No, you're already part of the organization. So, what are the similarities or differences between government roles and those of your organization? What are the main changes that your organization is undergoing in taking up the role in policy setting and strategy development? What will be different at your organization after the changes are instituted? So, dapat nating malaman kung may pagbabago ba. What are the different processes used by the other development banks at as like this? So, this is related sa mga pangmalakihang um, kung talaga. Policy na itong um, the last two. Okay? So, policy development na tayo. This is a critical phase as it influences the ultimate policy choice. The stage, the stage for lobbying, identification for approaches and tools to address a problem. Legislation, regula uh, regulation, taxes, sanction, no? um, grants, prohibition, sometimes may mga tax, pagbabago pa ng tax, sanctions, uh, hindi pagsunod, prohibition, ano yung bibigay, rights, campaigns. Select and design a set of criteria for solutions. Dito na yung mga possibility. Political acceptability, cost and benefits. This is normally the realm of experts. Ito na yung mga consultation again. Uh, policy formulation has tangible outcome. A bill goes before Congress or regulatory agency drops propose a rule. Okay? We have here the legitimization, ensuring that a chosen policy instrument have support, of course. It can involve legislative and executive approval, seeking consent through consultation with interest groups, referenda. In organization naman, it involves the board of management and any committees, na may mga committees na ibibuild dito, establishment for the purpose for public development and approval. And of course, we have here the decision-making time. Laws and regulations adopted by the legislative body, be it be parliament, congress, senate, or local councils, determining policy, objectives, instrument, and outcomes. So, since may policy na dito, no, magkakarap na sila dito ng procedures which is discussed by my partner, and of course, no, any methods. Ang yung methods lang naman is the way of, um, a way of putting to an action the policy. No, yan, yan, yan lang yung methods. And nakadepende yan how they have this policy no, to, to put into action. Yan yung methods. Example is from Asia in policy development, decision-making process that are relevant to your organization. Uh, we have here policy implementation, the adopted laws, regulations, and problems, regulations and programs rather are put into effect by implementing agencies. So meron pa mga agencies na assigned dan or in, in each committees. Effective policy implementation involves these three elements which is so important, broadly categorized as organization, no implemented by appropriate agency ba yan, responsibilities match HR and finances, kailangan po yan ng budget, interpretation, translated into operating rules and guidelines, dyan na po yung mga procedures, methods na sinasabi ko, na the way they acting, they act, they put into action the policy that is um, created. Application. No, so, kung makikita po natin, di ba, example dyan sa mga law, example, Republic Act, ganito, meron po yung um, IRR, so Implementing Rules and Regulations, dyan na rin po yung mga methods actually, makikita natin. So, isa-search lang natin, no, uh, pag meron yung batas na yan, isearch din natin yung IRR ng batas na yan, makikita natin doon directly kung ano yung mga methods dyan. Okay, so, ayan yung concept of methods, okay? Effective, um, effective policy implementation is difficult to achieve and most Policies will either take long time getting off the ground or not be implemented at all. Quite often, not the not, political will is needed to implement and monitor that. So, se segue ko lang ha. In terms po kasi, by next month kasi, 2020 to na. So, let's vote those politicians who are really that have the heart to help us. And of course, having this, yung sinasabi po dito na political will talaga. No, to have yung pag panindigan kumbaga. Okay po? 
And of course, last and not the least, no, the policy monitoring and evaluation. We know that power of measuring as a result, no, and numbers don't lie. We have here the result-based management, no, makikita po natin dito in operational results, developmental results, no, we have here the elements of monitoring and evaluation. Effective ba? Efficient ba? May impact ba? May relevance ba? May sustainability ba? Okay, so, pag nagsisearch po tayo ng research, di ba, sometimes, search natin, di ba, efficiency of, example, Pantawid Pamilya Pilipino Program, or effectiveness, so, yan po yan, it's a kind of policy monitoring, actually, research yan, kaya nga, di ba, involved dito yung institutions, academe, kasi, may mga iba, mga professor, sila yung nag-i-study dyan, kung may effectiveness ba, impact ba, sometimes nga, di ba, yung mga thesis natin, okay, sometimes related sa mga policy natin, especially if we are public, ah, di ba, and we have here the steps, no? Alam tayo yung mga steps of monitoring and criteria for evaluating. Meron yung mga survey and of course check checklist or kind of like. So yun lang po. And the continuation of my report will be discussed by my partner. And sana po may naintindihan po tayo sa report natin ngayon. Which is so important. Okay? Kasi we are future administrator. No? Gagawa tayo ng mga policies no sa atin. And we must be master of this kind of topic. Although medyo, medyo mahirap siya, but then it's for the good of the people. Okay? I'm your reporter, James Aportente, and thank you.